Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture on multiple moving reference frame model in Fluent. This is part of the Advanced Rotating Machinery Flow course or Advanced Turbo Machinery Flow Modeling course by LearnCAX. In this lecture, we will see what is the multiple moving reference frame model that is the MRF model and how to set up the MRF model within the Fluent software. So before we begin uh, the outline of this particular course, First, we will have an introduction to the MRF model. After that, we will have an introduction to the mixing plane model, which is very much related to the MRF model. Then we will see how to set up the MRF problem. That is the MRF model uh, solution setup steps. Then we will see how to set up the mixing plane model within Fluent. And at the end, we will see solution strategy and general post-processing uh, tips for the uh, MRF modeling approach. In the session before this, uh, we have seen how the SRF model can be used to model single rotating component or uh, components having single rotating speed. Many problems involve multiple moving parts or uh, contain uh, stationary surfaces which are not surfaces of revolution. Hence, the, uh, for these we cannot use the uh, single um, reference frame modeling approach. For these problems, we must break up the model into multiple fluid or solid cell zones with interface boundaries separating these zones. Zones which contain the moving parts or components can be solved using the moving reference frame equation and those which uh, contain or which have stationary parts can be solved with the stationary frame equations. The manner in which fluent treats the equilibrium at interface leads to two approach for the multiple moving reference frame modeling uh, method. First is the multiple reference frame model and the other is the mixing plane model. There is also another approach called a sliding mesh model. Both the MRF and the mixing plane model are steady state approximations and differ only in the way at interface or uh, in the way in which the interface is treated. In this lecture, we will discuss the multiple reference frame model and the mixing plane model. The MRF model is a steady state approximation. Individual sense zones can be assigned different rotational and translational speeds. Uh, flow in moving cell zone is solved using the moving reference frame equations. Whenever the zone is stationary, the equation come back to the original form. That is the stationary frame equations. In between, there is an interface. At the interface, local frame transformation is performed to enable flow variable in one zone to be used to calculate fluxes at boundary of the adjacent zone. The MRF model approach does not actually show relative motion. The mesh remains fixed. Thus, this is like freezing the motion of the moving part in a specific position and observing the instantaneous flow field with the rotor in that position. So it is also known as frozen rotor approach. In this model, although an assumption is made of steady state, but it is still a very good model for turbo machine applications in which rotor and stator interaction is relatively weak. The flow near the interface should be fairly uncomplicated. Examples are of a mixing tank in which we can use the MRF model. Since the impeller baffle interaction are weak, large scale transient effects are not present and MRF model can be used. Another way in which MRF model can be used is for getting an initial solution for a sliding mesh calculation. It is the sliding mesh uh, approach. The MRF model has some constraints as well. Interface separating a moving region from an adjacent region must be oriented such that the components of the frame velocity normal to the boundary is zero. This means that for translational moving frame, the moving zone boundaries must be parallel to the translational velocity vector. And for rotating problems, the interface must be surface of revolution about the axis of rotation defined for the fluid zone. In general, try to use the MRF approach mostly for steady state flows. Although Fluent allows to solve unsteady flow with the MRF approach as well, but we need to be careful whether it is meaningful to use it and whether the results make sense. The path lines drawn when using the MRF approach use the relative velocities. For massless particles, the trajectories follow the relative velocities, for, but for particle with mass, however, this approach or uh, this uh, model does not or, or these path lines does do not make any sense also dpm uh, also coupled dpm calculations are meaningless if relative velocities are considered so for this we have to use an alternative approach we have to activate the define models dpm option 
which is track in absolute frame text command by using uh, by typing track in absolute frame text command also you cannot accurately model axisymmetric swirl in the presence of multiple reference frames using the relative velocity formulation hence we have to switch to absolute velocity formulation the reason is that swirl velocity derivative do, uh, does not use the transformation required for mrf another limitation is that the translational and rotational velocities are assumed to be constant also you cannot use relative velocity formulation in combination with the mixture model mixing plane model is another approach to simulate flow through domains with one or more regions in the relative motion the biggest limitation of the mrf model is that it is applicable when the flow at the interface between adjacent moving and stationary zone is nearly uniform or mixed out if this is not true the results obtained from the mrf approach may uh, be having some issues also sliding mesh model although suitable in some cases it may be too expensive uh, computationally example of uh, example is of multi stage turbo machinery in such cases the mixing plane model provides an alternative in this model each fluid zone is treated as a steady state problem flow field data from adjacent zones are passed as boundary conditions that are spatially averaged out or mixed out at the interface the mixing or averaging removes any unsteadiness that would arise due to circumferential variations like wakes shock waves and separation of flow this gives a fairly good time average flow field but the mixing plane model also has limitations the ls turbulence model cannot be used with the mixing plane model the model for species transport and combustion cannot be used along with the mixing plane model the vof multiphase model also cannot be used with the mixing plane model and the dpm model a coupled approach also cannot be used with this particular mixing plane model let us see a pictorial representation of the mrf approach if we take the problem of mixing tank with a single impeller you can define a moving reference frame that and that encompasses the impeller and the flow surrounding it so this is the impeller these are the baffles this is the mrf zone which is given by dotted line if we take this particular problem of mixing tank with a single impeller we can define a moving reference frame that encompasses the impeller and the flow surrounding it you will use a stationary frame for the flow outside the impeller that is this particular region the dash line here indicates the interface between two reference frame and steady state flow conditions are assumed at the interface this means the velocity at the interface must be same for each reference frame note that the mesh is non moving that is it is fixed there is no actual movement of mesh we have done this because we have this particular baffles if the baffles were not present a single moving reference frame that is the srf approach would be sufficient and we can easily apply that but because of the baffles we have to go with the moving multiple uh, multiple reference frame approach in the second case uh, shown we have uh, more than one moving reference frame that is this particular there are two impellers uh, this is the first impeller and this is the second impeller the geometry contains two rotating impeller side by side and this problem needs to be modeled using the three reference frames the stationary frame outside the impeller which is this particular region and the two separate moving reference frame this is first reference moving reference frame and this is second moving reference frame which is surrounding the two impeller let us now discuss the interface treatment in detail there are mrf formulations applied to the interface when we use the mrf approach the mrf formulation that is applied to the interface will depend on the velocity formulation being used also the mrf approach only changes the velocity and velocity gradients at the interface first let us clear the cell zone condition solvers in the mrf approach calculation domain is divided into two subdomains each of these subdomains may be rotating or stationary with respect to reality absolute frame that is the laboratory frame the governing equations in each subdomain are written with respect to that subdomain's reference frame so the flow in stationary subdomain is governed by the stationary frame continuity and momentum equations and the flow in the moving subdomain is governed by the moving reference frame continuity and momentum equations the way in which interface treatments are used depends on the velocity formulation used first we will see how the interface is treated in the relative velocity formulation now the interface is like a boundary between two subdomains the diffusion and other terms in the governing equations in one subdomain require values for the velocities in the adjacent subdomain 
What ANSYS Fluent does is it maintains the continuity of the absolute velocity v bar to provide correct neighboring values of velocity for the subdomain under consideration. When we, when we are using the relative velocity formulation, velocities in each subdomain are computed relative to the motion of the subdomain. Velocities and velocity gradients are converted from a moving reference frame to the absolute inertial frame using the equations shown in, the in this particular slide. Now let us look at the treatment when we, are, we have selected absolute fo velocity formulation. When the absolute velocity formulation is used, the governing equations in each subdomain are written with respect to that subdomain's reference frame. But the velocities are stored in the absolute frame. Therefore, no special treatment is required at the interface because absolute velocities are available and they can be transformed as it is or trans and they can be transferred as it is. The scalars are transferred as it is as well. Let us now discuss the mixing plane concept in detail. Consider turbo machinery stages as shown in the pictorial representation. Each plate passage contains periodic boundaries. The first image shows a constant radial plane within a single stage of an axial machine. The second image shows a constant theta plane within a mixed flow device. In each case, the stage consists of two flow domains. The rotor domain, which is, uh, which is rotating at a prescribed angular velocity, followed by stator domain, which is stationary. So this is the rotor domain and this is the stator domain. Again here, this is the rotor domain and this is the stator domain. The order of rotor and stator is arbitrary. Each domain will be represented by a separate mesh. The flow information between these domains will be coupled at the mixing plane interface using the mixing plane model. So this is the mixing plane interface and the flow information at mixing plane is coupled using the mixing plane model. The main idea of the mixing plane model is that each fluid zone is solved as a steady state problem. At some specified interval, the flow data at the mixing plane interface are averaged in the circumferential, circumferential direction on the stator outlet and the rotor inlet boundary. When fluent averages the flow data, there are three options or three different averaging methods. First is the area weighted average, second is the mass weighted average and third is the mixed out average. Fluent first performs circumferential averaging at the specific radial or axial stations this defines profiles of boundary condition flow variables. 